Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video, C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to query document on Mongo database and how to parse BSEN data. BSEN stands for Binary JSON Data Format. In order to use C++ to connect and the query Mongo database, you have to inst we have to install and uh, Mongo CXX driver. This driver is uh, for C++ driver for Mongo database. And this driver working with the BSEN data format. So we have to also install the BSEN XX for using this Mongo CXX driver. In previous video, we make a demonstrate how to connect to the Mongo database. In that video, we instantialize the instance using Mongo CXX instance. We declare the URI, which is the Mongo on my local database, local server, and uh, and we connect make a connection to the URI, which is the Mongo database of my local host, and uh, there's a database called the test. So we make a connection to the test, test database and I have a collection called the player and uh, in that uh, collection we have three players and uh, here is our Mongo database in the player collection and I have three players. One is uh, John Oliver which is male and the second one is uh, Stephen Colbert, and uh, it's a male. And the third one is uh, Susan Rice, as a, as a female. So since we have a f element called a gender, which have a male, female, today we are going to use this as demonstrate how to query Mongo database. So we are going to query the gender, which is male and the female. So in order to make query, Instead of list all, we have first to create a, a document builder stream document which called my doc and we have to insert the query to this document so which is my doc so we go into query, this is G N D E R gender and uh, what value we query we are going to use it from argument which is command line and uh, we can put it in the male and the female and after we got our query and the gender and, uh, and we are going to the find so what we find instead of all we have to find with my dog dot view which is the query we put in and then we do the same thing convert to the JSON document from BSON document to the JSON document. Let's save this and um, make a compile of this. Okay it's come on I'll say come on compile is okay so let's, let's run this so we'll say we're going to run this. We have put the argument is male. Okay, you can see we can only find the two player with both of as male. If we put in this female, you see we can find only one player and Susan Rice is a female. Now let's back to our program. So Instead of this one, we just put my BSEN document, my doc convert to JSON. In these times, we are going to parse this BSEN document and print some field. So first one, we are going to say B BSEN document element. My first element called my name, which equal 
name. And uh, then we convert us to the string. Call the str name. What the str name is is going to be is my name dot get this is my soda get the value of UTF-8 which is a decoding as UTF-8 decoding format and the get value and then we convert to the string since we query for the male and the female so let's make another decoding element called my gender which is the key is the gender and uh, we make a conversion to string gender it's called my gender get the value and right now we print out we can print out What we print out str name we separate with uh, gender. So now we make him better print out because we parse the JSON document, parse we only parse two element name and gender. And we just convert it to the string and uh, then we just uh, print out the standard say out let's, um, and let's make it it's compiling good now let's try to say raw mongo there female so we can see we did a success play parts of the BSON document, we got the name and we got the gender. But if we do the male and we still got two player, John Oliver is male and Stephen Colbert is a male. In this way we can query a Mongo database, the collection, we got to query the document and we can just parse over the BSON data format and uh, print out whatever we like. Hello, this is uh, Hui. Thanks to watch my video. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.